Hello guys, I'm Sara and today I'm back with another interesting episode all about darkest conspiracy theories around the world. Some which are still proven yet to be true. So let's find out which are the conspiracy theories true and untrue. Starting with unreal birds, when is a conspiracy not a conspiracy? When it's an elaborate piece of performance art or does that make it more of a conspiracy theory? The Birds and Trial Conspiracy is a movement developed by Peter McIndo, 23, who started spreading the idea in 2017. Until a December 2021 interview in New York Times, McIndo stayed in character as a true believer, insisting in media interviews and online that birds aren't real, but rather they are surveillance drones made by the US government. Birds aren't real is not a shallow satire of conspiracy from the outside. It's from the deep inside. He told the New York Times, "A lot of people in our generation feel the lunacy in all this, and birds aren't real has been a way of people to process that." The experiment revealed that conspiracy sometimes grown by credulity. Local media sometimes reported on birds aren't real as if it was something young people believed rather than an elaborate joke. Yes, we have been spreading misinformation for the past four years, but it's with a purpose. Macindo said it's all about holding up a mirror to America in the internet age. You guys tell me in the comments what you think if birds are real or just conspiracy theories. While we move on to our next conspiracy theory, the fake landing. Space is a fertile area for conspiracies and one of the most persistent persistent myth involves the moon. A 2019 poll revealed that about 1 in 10 Americans believe that the moon landing was faked. There is a third party evidence of the landings but not everyone is convinced. The Flat Earth Society has suggested that Walt Disney Studios and director Stanley Kubrick staged the 1969 landing using a script written by Arthur C. Clarke. The flag's movement they say clearly shows the presence of wind which is impossible in a vacuum. NASA says Aldrin was twisting the flag pole to get the moon soil which caused the flag to move. and never mind the astronauts have brought back hundreds of independently verified moon rocks theorists have even suggested that filmmaker stanley kubrick may have helped nasa fake the first lunar landing given that his 1968 film 2001 a space odyssey proved that the technology existed back then to artificially create a space like set and as for version 1 grissom edward h white and roger b shafe Three astronauts who died in a fire while testing equipment for the first moon mission they were all executed by US government which feared they were about to disclose the truth. Well guys, I have seen a lot of movies about the moon, astronauts and the landing. So I cannot even believe such a conspiracy theory could even be faked because somehow it's something that all the world believes in. But one out of them 10 Americans think that it was a fake landing. So let's see in the comments if you guys think it was a fake landing or truly real. We all have taken trips to Denver, sometimes for excursions, sometimes with friends. But according to popular sources, there's a conspiracy theory that the Denver airport is the home of the world's new order. Denver's airport might look like an airport, but supposedly it is built atop secret bunkers housing billionaires. lizard people and possibly aliens the airport's public art collection and gargoyle sculptures apparently hold clues to sinister controlling influence possibly the illuminati freemasons new world order or nazis for those of you interested in freemasonry we are also going to talk about it in one of our darkest conspiracy theories today all of this is built according to the theorists on top of a six story deep bunker where the elites will hunker down to ride out the end of the world maybe it's a prison for dissenters of course there's no evidence anything besides the beneath the airport besides maintenance tunnels a baggage transport system and hurried travelers moving between terminals on an underground train but that doesn't stop for those who want to believe that there's something more nefarious beneath the airline hub Imagine guys going to an airport and finding out that this airport is not only just an airport but also somewhere where the government orders and enters a new world. 
I don't know how I feel about this considering I've not been to Denver yet. But from all my friends, I know it's a fun place. What do you guys think about the airport? Comment below in the section. Let's move on to Area 51. A conspiracy theories believe that remains of crash UFO are stored at Area 51. We all believe this summer when everyone was talking crazy about Area 51 and also making jokes about sending people to that area to kind of banish them. It's an Air Force base about 150 miles from Las Vegas where government scientists reverse engineer the aliens' highly advanced technology. Water for this area has come from a variety of supposed UFO sightings in the area and testimony from a retired army colonel who says he was given access to extraterrestrial material gathered from an alien spacecraft that crashed in Roswell NM. Some believe that the government studied time travel at Area 51, also known as Groom Lake or Dreamland. As many of you popularly know, that when Area 51 became popular, a lot of people came out with their theories that they had seen a lot of UFO and crash sightings. A lot of new alien games developed and a lot of people thought that this was the place where they could actually spot UFOs. None of it ever came true and none of it has still be proved. But people till today fear about the Area 51 and prevent going there. Let's find out if any of the conspiracy theories including Area 51 actually came out to be true. The government has also developed advanced aircraft and weapon systems at nearby Nellis Air Force Base, including stealth bombers and reconnaissance planes. And the government's official line that details the Area 51 are classified for purpose of national security. It's only further proof that the military is hiding aliens or alien spacecraft. Next up is an interesting conspiracy theory that till today all our parents and grandparents talk about. It's the JFK assassination. I remember being a kid and not knowing how JFK died. But today, as I go to the JFK airport all the time, I always ask my friends, how did they live up to the story and the myth of how the JFK assassination happened? So let's find out what the conspiracy theory is all about. President John F. Kennedy was assassinated on November 22, 1963, struck by two bullets one in the head and one in the neck, while riding an open-topped limo through Daly Plaza in Dallas. Again Dallas guys, but this time it's the JFK assassination. Lee Harvey Oswald was charged with killing him, and a presidential commission headed by Chief Justice Earl Warren found that Oswald acted alone, but a 2003 ABC News poll found out that 70% of Americans believe that Kennedy's death was a result of a broader plot. The trajectory of the bullets, some say, didn't square up with Oswald's perch on the sixth floor of Texas School Bank Depository. Others suggest a second gunman, perhaps on the grassy knoll of Daly Plaza, participated in the shooting. Other beliefs in an even broader conspiracy. Was Kennedy killed by the CIA agents acting either out of anger or over the Bay of Pigs or at the behest of Vice President Lyndon Johnson? By KGB operatives? Mobsters mad at Kennedy's brother for initiating the prosecution of organized crime rings? Speculations over one of history's most famous political assassinations is such a popular parlor game that most people have taken the rumors to heart. Just 30%, 32% of those polled by ABC believe Oswald carried out the killing of its own. Guys, if you see, if only 32% believe what the world thinks was the reason for JFK assassination, you can imagine how many people till this day have their own conspiracy theory about the killing. As we all know, even Marvin Monroe was told to be killed by drug overdose. But the firings and the sightings that were found on her neck and on other parts of her body indicated otherwise. Marilyn Monroe's death still remains a conspiracy associated with the JFK assassination. Next up is one of the most interesting conspiracy theories, Freemasonry. I was only 13 when I read the first book, Da Vinci Code and Illuminati related books, Angels and Demons. While Angel and Demons told me about how Freemasonry or Illuminati runs the world, there are several conspiracy theories that still state that Illuminati 
or Freemasonry still exists today. While a lot of people make jokes about it saying that it's all full of celebrities, a lot of people also believe that it's not just celebrities but real people and also people who control the celebrities. Famous artists like Doja Cat or The Weeknd have known to be recently been a part of Freemasonry or Illuminati. Well, I don't know what music they run and what music they make under Illuminati or outside, but let's find out what's the deepest conspiracy theory about them. Conspiracy theories concerning the Freemasons have proliferated around since the 18th century. Theorists have alleged that Freemasons control large part of the economies or judiciary of a number of countries and have alleged Masonic involvement in events surrounding the sinking of the Titanic and crimes of Jack the Ripper. Notable among theorists have been American inventor Samuel Morse, who in 1853 published a book of his own conspiracy theories. Freemason conspiracy theories have also been linked to certain anti Semitic conspiracy theories. Famous Freemasons can be found throughout the history. George Washington was a master mason and Benjamin Franklin was a founding member of the first Masonic Lodge in America. President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Gerald Ford were masons, as was Prime Minister of Great Britain Winston Churchill. So now that we see a lot of famous people were mentioned to be a part of the Freemasonry. Recently Freemasonry garnered a lot of attention through TikTok. A lot of people said that a lot of current music artists are actually the original part of it. From artists like Beyonce, Weekend, Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj are told to be a part of it who perform satanic rituals on their concerts. A recent concert that happened in 2022 was the Travis Scott concert where people believe that all of his performance was kind of like a satanic giving up of audience as like a sacrifice. I don't know what part is fit true and if people truly still today believe that Illuminati runs the world or a secret society. But I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. So that's all for today folks and please don't forget to like, sh share and subscribe to our channel. Tell me what you think about these conspiracy theories and which ones you think could be actually true. Until then, this is Sana signing off. Keep watching to know all the scoop on latest news and much more.